Hey, I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note, and it's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install um, Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich. You're going to have to go to XDA and search, download the current ICS build. It's still in alpha state, but it's still an easy clockwork mod flash, so you want to make sure you have a rooted Galaxy Note. You're going to turn the device off, and you're going to reboot into recovery. So if you have a quick recovery boot, uh, you can use that. Also, you can use the hardware buttons, which are power up, home, and power. At the same time, you can hold all three, wait for the logo, and then release the power button while continuing to hold power, or excuse me, continuing to hold volume up and home. That will also take you into uh, recovery mode. And for now, you'll see the red clockwork mod recovery screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe my factory, um, wipe my data and my restore device to factory. Um, I did just previously make a backup, and so that backup will live on my SD card, which is good, because you definitely don't want to do this without having a backup, because if anything goes wrong, or if you decide to change, you have a, a current backup that you can restore to. So now that that's done, I'm also going to wipe the Dalvik cache, uh, just to be safe. And then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go to my install menu, and I'm going to choose zip from internal SD card. And no, it is not there. It's actually on external SD card. So choose it from external SD card. And it's this update. I don't know if you can read that. Update CM9 RCO Galaxy Note Kang sign.zip. And I'm going to say yes, I definitely do want you to install that. And let's see. So I'm going to go to yes, and it's going to run through the install for that. Android version 4 ICS ROM. And I'll pause it here while this runs through the install and pick it back up when it's almost done. What you want to do now is after you have Android 4 installed, you're going to want to go ahead and install the Google app. So if I say install Google or install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, I have gapp 6 uh, here. And so you're going to want to go ahead and install that. I'm not going to do it. I, I just did it while the camera was off. but that uh, installing Google Apps will make sure that you have things like Market and Gmail, um, etc. And so now when this phone boots up, we'll actually have things like Google um, Mail and I can uh, sync my Gmail account, uh, allowing me to download stuff, uh, different applications uh, from the market and so on and so forth. Okay, you can see the ICS kernel has been loaded and it's going through its startup routine. And we get presented with a little vibrate and you can see our two icons are on and here we go we're presented with the welcome screen and this is real deal ics so if i say okay um you can actually see uh we've got some cell signal we have an h so it's automatically configured my apn for at and um, if we go to menu system settings and about phone you'll see that this says cyanogen mod 9 Android 4.03, model num, uh, excuse me, model number, Galaxy Note. So this is pretty cool. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff about this phone that doesn't work with the ICS build. For example, the camera is broken, which is sort of annoying. Um, however, things like the, the web work, um, Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works. So lots of stuff do work, and I think it's a great way to test ICS on the Galaxy Note. Um, it's super fast. It's really, really fluid. There's no noticeable um, lag in this build. You get those great ICS transitions um, from the back. The blacks look really good. The color is really good. Um, overall, I love using ICS on the Note. It's a real bummer that it's not fully out yet and there's not support for things like the camera and the S Pen. But if you want to play with uh, this ICS build, I definitely recommend it. It's fun, it's exciting, and it's something different other than gingerbread.